हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट्स आय एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर आय सजेस्ट यू वन थिंग प्लीज वॉच व्हिडिओ कम्प्लिटली सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेअर इम्पॉर्टंट देन नोट इट अँड प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर इफ यू फाइंड सम डिफिकल्टीज देन प्लीज राईट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आय विल डेफिनेटली सॉल्व युअर प्रॉब्लेम अँड अलॉंग विथ प्लीज लाईक शेअर अँड सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल दॅट कॅन रीच मोर अँड मोर स्टुडंट्स थँक यू लेट्स मूव ऑन what the question says the position vector r vector of a particle of mass small m is given by the equation r is a function of t equal to <coughs> alpha t cube i unit vector plus beta t square j unit vector where alpha equal to 10 by 3 meter per second square beta equal to 5 meter per second square and m equal to 0.1 kg at t equal to 1 second which of the following statements is an oblique r it means multiple choice question true about the particles you have given four options in the velocity angular momentum force and torque okay and uh, this question is asked je advanced 2016 and totally mathematical based question <clears throat> because application of derivatives all uh, we have to apply application of derivatives in mathematics so you know that very well what is velocity dr by dt what is acceleration dv by dt so therefore all these things based on it very simple question but we should have to be <coughs> look at carefully what is uh, velocity you are well known about that differentiation with respect of t to position vector r is a function of t what is uh, r of t alpha t cube i plus beta t square j differentiation with respect of t both the sum and you will get 3 alpha t square i 2 beta t j this is velocity now substitute the velocity uh, alpha t beta all these values what is alpha you can check here 10 by 3 and t t is 1 second and 2 beta what is beta 5 and j t we cancel 10 i 10 j now you can check uh, first option 10 i plus 10 j yes it is correct <clears throat> now you are well known about that acceleration is the differentiation dv by dt so again differentiate with respect of t both the side you will get t to the 6 alpha i plus 2 beta j okay then you are well known about that force we have to find out the force force equal to mass into acceleration then multiply by m m equal to 6 alpha i plus 2 beta j and now substitute all these value 10 by 3 i plus 2 beta is 5 j then you can see that uh, 3 to the 6 20 0.1 i plus 10 j and multiply with 0.1 then you will get 2 i plus j 2 i plus <coughs> j now let's see here i plus 2j so therefore c is incorrect now we have find out angular momentum or the formula of angular momentum is m r cross p vector let us first we have to find out cross product of r vector and v vector by using determinants method you know that what is the determinants method i j k what is the coefficient of i of position vector alpha t cube and uh, coefficient of j vector is beta t square and coefficient of k there is no any k coefficient of k so we have put here zero and same things what is the coefficient of i for v vector 3 alpha t square and 2 beta t and coefficient of k is zero then r cross v vector 
equal to k cross multiply 2 alpha beta t raised to power 4 minus 3 alpha beta t raised to power 4. Then uh, now total overall value r vector cross v vector equal to k vector k cap 2 alpha beta t raised to power 4 3 alpha beta t raised to power 4 so minus alpha beta t raised to power 4 then overall value of angular momentum n into minus alpha beta t raised to power 4 k cap substitute all this value m alpha beta and t what is value of m you can see that 0 0.1 what is value of alpha? 10 by 3. Value of beta is 5. T is 1 second and this to power 4 means 1. And K cap. Then we get 5 into 10. 50 by 3. 50 by 3. K cap. Then uh, it can be written as 5 by 3 minus 5 by 3. K cap. And you can see that uh, second option matches to our answer. So second is also correct. Now we go to next position. For the torque, as we know that torque equal to differentiation with respect of T of angular momentum. Then what is our angular momentum? Angular momentum is given d by dt minus m alpha beta t raised to power 4 and k cap. Then uh, tau equal to minus 4m alpha beta t cube and k cap. Now substitute all this value. What is m? 0 0.1 alpha is 10 by 3, beta is 5 and uh, 1 cube means 1 nk unit vector and uh, 0 0.1 is removed then 4 into 5 minus 20 by 3 k cap now let's see yes d option is also correct i hope so you understand because this uh, all the parts is totally based on mathematics okay Thank you for staying till the ends of this video and yes, let me remind you again, don't forget to subscribe this channel that can you get the information for the next video. Bye bye, take care.